we're hoping to have around 50 horses going to Cheltenham. Jerry Colum, um, he came out sand down well at the weekend. Um, he came out at Cheltenham Festival Sale, Mags up tool bottom. Um, you know, he's been a very lucky horse for the yard so far. He's unbeaten. Um, and the plan is to go to the festival now for, for, for the Three Mile Novice Chase. Well, we always thought we'd be stepping up the Three Mile. If he bought to be a proper staying chase, or just the way the races fell, that's where, where he ended up going. But um, I think he's going to relish uh, the Three Mile Plus. Better days ahead. He came out with a festival sale as well. He was very good in his bumper and fairy house. Uh, we mix, missed an engagement with him last week, but the plan is to go straight for a bumper with him now. And whatever he does is going to be a bonus, but uh, another good buy from the Cheltenham Festival Sale. He's going to be a big staying chaser, like the type of horse we buy, but he came on no end from his first run from Down Royal, and uh, yeah, he's one we're really excited about going to Cheltenham. American Mike, he run actually in Navin this weekend. Um, you know, uh, uh, Mike, he was second in the bumper last year. Um, very, very classy horse. Uh, he'll have a prep run in Navin at the weekend, and the plan is to go for the Ballymore with him. You know, he's a good horse. Um, Jamie Codd rode him all through his bumper season and was mad about him, so again, he's one we're really looking forward to. Cool survivor, he came home very strong in Leopardstown. Um, I think a step up and trip is going to suit him. You know, he's a horse that doesn't show much at home, but by God, when he goes to the track, he, he, he's getting stronger and stronger. Another one that came out, out, out with a, one of the point-to-point -point sales at Tatterstalls. So yeah, we're looking forward to him too. Queensbrook, she's not the easiest horse in the world to train, but when we get her to the track, she's very, very good. Plan is the Mayor's Hurdle. She go to Cheltenham for the Mayor's Hurdle. She was second last year. She go to Punchestown on the way there for a prep run. She takes a lot of work to get her fit. So we're looking forward to going to Punchestown then on to Cheltenham. Uh, another filly to come out of Cheltenham point to point sale. Um, yeah, she's very very good. Halka to the pair. She's a good mare. She had a very good win in Nace. Uh, maybe didn't go fast enough in Ferries for the next day, but the plan is to go for the Mirrors Hurdle with her in Cheltenham now. And she gallops and she stays very well. She's only a couple of lengths to find with the favourite, and I think she'll be bang there. The golfer was very good at the weekend in Leopardstown. Davy Russell gave him a masterful ride. Um, you know, he was probably one of the more cheaper horses we bought, a bargain from, from another Cheltenham sale. He'll go probably for one, the three mile chase on the Tuesday. And you know, down the road we'll be looking at an Irish national with him. But uh, he was very, very good in Leopardstown and uh, won a great pot. Astree Meadow, yeah, he likes a bit of OK ground. He did a very, very good run in the Galway plate last year. And um, he came out with another Cheltenham sale from Dunica Doyle after winning his point to point uh, in Fairy House. And um, the plan is to go to Cheltenham maybe for the two five handicap chase. But uh, he runs well fresh, and another one we're really looking forward to. The Tattersall Cheltenham sales, we never missed them. You know, we probably head over maybe a day and a half before the sale, few all the horses, then do our second looks, uh, obviously look at the vet certs, um, have a talk with the vendors. Uh, you know, obviously there's some vendors you're lucky with and some vendors you're unlucky with. Some tracks you're lucky at and some tracks you're unlucky at, but uh, it's a great sale. We've bought an awful lot of horses over there and it's very, very lucky. Um, Eddie O'Leary, myself, Aidan Ryan and Mags O'Toole always few the horses together. Uh, we go back to our second looks, look at the videos, have a chat with the vendors. Um, but it's a great sale to go to. You know, you've got you can buy a horse at every end, from the top end horse that you know you you, you could be going for a gold cup with. To I suppose when you look at the likes of the golfer, it can be a bargain. You know, at at the lower end. But uh, yeah, it's something we really look forward to, and uh, we never miss it.